Hello, welcome and welcome back. This is Jacob continuing the narration for the Mansfield Break side story in Art Knights. Today we are going to be going over the story for MB-4, also called Bravery Stupidity. And let's begin with the before operation story. Silence, you all right? I'm all right. Why are you over here now? Girl, you've been over here for ages, just checking in. Yeah, that wine bottle there, you're drinking now. Just a little. Director Musis. She's still back there waiting for us. Where are you in the story? Up until Anthony started trusting Kafka to help him, she also told me some stuff about what went down between Control and Saria. Did she now? Want me to tell you? No, not necessary for the time being. You look like you're doing terrible. Was it some bad crap Dr. Musis told you about? No, though it was, in a sense. I'm... I can't put it straight. My mind is in disarray. I have some regrets. I feel as though I may have done something I am not equipped to do. You mean this whole breakout? Yes. I should apologize to you, Meyer. What for? I shouldn't have gotten you involved. I was too cowardly. I couldn't bear it, and I told you all about this. I made you assume responsibility with me. Oh, I don't really mind, you know? The fact you could trust me makes me pretty freaking happy, Silence. And I mean, really, all I've done is take a trip back to Colombia with you. Actually, there is something I haven't told you. What is it? Behind this incident, behind Hyder Bro, is the energy section. Huh, energy? You and the rest of engineering are so closely tied with energy, I've been unsure whether I should tell you. Oh, hmm, I'm fine, really. You're pretty tied up work-wise with energy, yeah, but honestly, I'm not the world's biggest fan of their section. Or more, I'm like kind of terrified of energy's director. What's the director of energy like? Huh? I haven't met. I haven't met more than a few times, but sometimes he comes over to our end just to see. He'll drop in on our meetings too. He opens his mouth and you go, "Wow, he's a big smart cookie." But he gives off this kind of feeling like... I don't know how to capture it. He like cares more about what our staff, the stuff can be used to make. Or what it can be exchanged for. Things like that. I see. And like since Saria took all the blame and resigned, I, it feels like as an energy section got like even more tied up in each other. And these times... Some kind of weird work gets scheduled, and I couldn't even do any of my own crap. And that's why I wanted a ch chance to send myself off to Rhode Island. Even if close is a little weird too, I'm way happier just doing my work at Rhodes. So that's it. Anyways, don't worry about me too much, Silence. In fact, I feel like you've done something good, right? Something good. This intel and analysis you have provided is extremely valuable. It compels me to note your viewpoint strongly, Operator Silence. In that case... But, first of all, is in this intel's origins are clearly intel internal to Rhinelab. Divulging internal intelligence to third parties without permission inspires me not to place trust in you. However, from your behavior, I can trust you are in no way an imprudent person. Therefore, I require an explanation. This is intel I arrived collection and analysis via my own personal channels. It has no direct relation to Rhinelab. But your discovery of a mat matter like this should have promoted submission to internal channels to be dealt with there. Rhode Island has no capacity to adjudicate this incident. No, I had no expectation that Rhode Island would be able to. I simply wanted to aid this person. I wanted to hear your viewpoint. My mind, 
Or should I say, why Rhode Island? As of now, I trust Rhode Island more than I do Rhine Lab. What on Rhine Lab are you skeptical about? I don't know. I don't even know what it is I'm skeptical of. But I've come to work here for a very long while now. I've seen with my own eyes what Rhode Island is doing. I, at least, know what Rhode Island is doing. What you see may not be what you get, Operator Silence. Moreover, it may be that you haven't noticed, but from your intel it is very likely this feline named Anthony was only immediately arrested the next state over as a step by set up by his father. In all likelihood, a situation they arranged long beforehand. But Anthony still hasn't been released to this day. He's already been stewing in that prison for six years. It's all the more likely he'll be in there for forever. Why are you placing such importance on a person who has nothing to do with you? Because I wanted to see clearly, once and for all, just what kind of company the Ryan Lab I've served all this time is. Hmm. You may be disappointed, but it'll be far better than knowing nothing. You are greatly persuasive, Operator Silence. Rhode Island cannot provide you any outward assistance whatsoever, but I can, from a personal standpoint, provide you my viewpoint. I hope you are able to maintain your notion from start to finish. What notion? The notion that you are doing something good. I'm starting to have some doubts. Is it truly something good I've done? Huh, why? I'm starting to worry, Meyer. No matter what. In the past, I always believed that as long as I give my effort to any problem, it will always be answerable. But this time, I fear I've run against a problem I have no way to answer. Because you can't solve it. Not that I can't solve it, it's that I don't dare to. I don't dare to pull it apart. Meyer, did Kafka ever tell you how she and I know each other? Hmm. Did you forget? She remembers she even mentioned it while talking to Mina. Mina. Hmm. Phew, finally found a chance to talk to you. How's your results? Following what you said earlier, I've been spending this whole time a certain this prison structure on the down low. Already got a general grasp on it now. Helpless. Helps the prison turnkeys lax, but structure's tight. I feel like getting out a pretty tall order. No problem, problem. There's always a way. How's about your end then? I'm tapped in with Anthony. Turns out he had an idea of leaving in the first place, so we'll be following Plan A operations, helping him break out. We'll treat the clinic as our secret base from here on. I told Dr. Doma there about you. Just head right over and you'll be good. So that's it. What? You're a step away from meeting the big guy who's been on your brain. Why do you look so flat? I'm not. I've seen him from far away a bunch of times. I feel like the big guy's kind of different to the one who saved my family once. Huh, I see. What did he used to be like? He used to be... a little more... Um, cool? That's a way to phrase it. Once after I learned he saved them all, I wanted to see him in secret. He was plenty more cheer and open than he is now. What way? Was he that kind of big splashy guy? The kid with like 10 or more bodyguards fanning from his heels? No, no, um, he was like a bit more... I'm not sure how to describe it. I'm gonna say he was the rich kid then. Whatever, now he's, now he's really silent, I feel like, and he's never showing emotion. It feels so, some way sad looking at him. He got slammed in here for six years, after all. It do a number like that on even the cheeriest kid. I suppose so. So we just need to help him escape, and he'll be back to the way he was before, for sure. More or less, right? Eh, I'd pass on him becoming the rich kid again, though. I think it'd be swell. Okay, okay, you lost me now. 
If you want to put it like that, you're losing me. You said you only came to help Anthony because a friend tr trusted you. Why would you go so far to help your silence friend? Because I think silence is a good person. What kind of reason is that? Hmm. Me and Silence knew each other from one time she went out to do fieldwork. Me, I was used to pretty grubby methods to do stuff, so happened I bumped into her. Guess I made some pretty unsmall trouble for her back then. I drove her an inch from giving up her business there. But things worked out, and in the end I got to know her. Can't knock him until you knock him, right? Do they say that? Anyways, after that, she'd show me some work pretty often. Felt like she was hoping I'd do things proper like she did. She sounds like a good person. Sure as heck is. Always felt science was this... Uh, saw this world a little too rosy though. Turns out there's a lot of things people who think uh, like her can't even make headway on. Okay, maybe Silence is a little naive, but she's so smart and she ain't stubborn. So I always felt like she's fine the way she is. I'm gonna be friends with her. I may have plenty of friends, but I only got one like Silence. I really ch cherish her, you know. So that's why you went to prison to help her? Eh, that's not all of it. Another part, I once heard about this prison. Definitely been curious about this place. Another another part caused silent, silence kind of changed uh, this time. You mean her getting you to help someone jailbreak? Hmm. And she begged me to help her get all these corporate intel together. I picture how silence used to be and it doesn't fit with her doing this kind of stuff. Hmm, did something happen to her, you think? I don't know, ever since she left Colombia, she went to some shop called Rhode Island. I never saw her again, been stuck with pen palling. Never really made clear why she left Colombia either, but yeah, I guess something must have happened. In any case, Silent seemed real dead, on, dead set on, so I figured I'll help her out proper for once. Kafka, hear me out. You might be a real good person yourself. Eh? You're saying you saw me as some stinker? I seem to remember you good, you good Kafka bad kafka me straight into prison with you, you know. <laughs> Imagine if I asked a stranger out of nowhere, hey, let's get locked up together. Don't matter how I asked, they think I was go going nuts, right? So I needed a little more of an approach, you know? Yep, I cannot outward you. Forget it. <laughs> no, but anyways, I just think this is really a good or bad kind of thing. It's like how you're going all neck or nothing for the guy who once saved your family, but what you're actually doing is breaking him out of jail. If saying it's for a friend makes it uh, makes it kind for sure, kind of for sure, kind for sure. Mm. Okay, again. <clears throat> if saying it's for for a friend makes it kind for sure, then maybe more of my friends are good people than the ones who just put on the looks. But people who do bad stuff, even though they have good intentions, how do you call them good people, huh? Hmm, I think you have a point. They could have just admitted they were bad people from the start, probably. Hmm. Oop, here come the jailers. Work's about to start. Catch you at the clinic later. You better hustle. Who knows, these people might get scrappy again soon. Hmm, hmm. Kafka, you take care too. Right, and on to the after operation scenes. <clears throat> so you got a problem with knowing Kafka or something? No, I have no problem knowing her. It's after I got to know her, I always hoped she'd be able to live a normal life, to never have to do those things she used to. I introduced her to what work I could. I even wanted her to get a job at Rhine Lab. That didn't pan out in the end. But no matter what, the entire time I've been hoping for a better life for Kafka. I've been hoping for a better her, and that better was based on my standard of living at Rhine Lab. Hmm, well, I reckon life, li life at Rhine Lab's not bad, right? It was conditional on us not knowing just what we were doing. But as a research, 
but as research workers, we should be pretty first place for knowing what we're doing, right? No, I don't mean it in terms of research goals. I mean what was looming in the background. If our research would have some adverse effects if it truly succeeded, if our results would be appropriate for something, whether or not that happens to be what we're researching right now. Since the diabolic crisis, what's been happening inside the company has had me starting to consider this. I, like you, like a majority of our colleagues, believe that our research was right, that our di direction was ideal. But is that really how things are? If Ifrit has given me if it has given me considerable doubts. That seed of doubt compelled me to leave Rhinelab for the time being, to head for Rhode Island. So this is what's been on your mind all this time, Silence. During my time with Rhode Island, I've continued my research, but on the flip side, I've begun to pay attention to some data I've never paid mine before. My mentor gave me these data, I never before understood what purpose he had in handing me company and local data and I'd long since put them aside. But once I began analysis and research on these data, I came to all sorts of questions about them. After I first uncovered these questions, I struggled to sleep again. Are you talking about this? Uh, are you talking about things to do with Anthony? No, Anthony, more precisely, Simon Coe's affairs were just one part amongst them. A tiny part, even. There are so many more things going on, not just at Rhinelab, but throughout the whole of Colombia. It was only then I truly realized I understood far too little about this company I called Rhinelab, this country I called Colombia. But I did not resign myself. I don't believe what happened to Ifrit or what happened to Anthony should be considered the norm. And that's why I involved myself in Anthony's affairs here. But perhaps... All at once I've jumped too far. I feel the same now as I did then, that moment when Saria emerged from the experiment site with Ifrit cradled unconscious in her arms, as if I have been doused from the head down in ice cold water. Just what happened in that experiment? I don't know. What? I always thought I knew what I was doing, but now I realize I really don't know. I only know that I can never let Ifrit be treated like that again. This probably is the only thing I am capable of persisting in now. Silence, you're a little drunk. I'll get you some tea. Sober you up. Hmm. I'm sorry, Silence. I don't know how to comfort you. It's not your fault, Meyer. I only blame ignorance of my own past. Personally, I think you already know a hell of a lot, Silence. Just every- Not good at. Meyer, know this. I truly have not resigned myself. If I'd come to know more, if I'd come to know earlier, perhaps things would have become the way they are now. But it's not too, it's not too late to learn things now, yeah? I think the Reckle Muses ought to reckon you're pretty strong, too. I'm gonna tell the truth, Silence. You tell me. I feel like some bits of you resemble a few colleagues I have. You learn something you didn't know before, and you feel like everything you learn already was completely pointless. Then you start grieving about, like, why didn't you get the chance to learn this all earlier? I'm not saying that's, like, incorrect, but I think it's a really boring way of going at it. What, everything you put in efforts before just useless? Just like that. Stuff's good to, for you just cause it's new. Because if it really is, if you really feel like you can use it, then just go study with the same effort you put in all those times before, right? It's not like you gotta rush for it. Here, drink this up. Tea for the mind. Things are different, though. These matters aren't the same as academia. But, but there's sense in what you say, too, I admit. Oh jeez, fine, I'll come over and feed you. Honestly, Silence, you've got zero alcohol tolerance. Meyer props up Silence, who's almost lying on the table, and bit by bit feeds some sobering tea into her mouth. How's that? Feel a little better? 
<sighs> Much better. Thank you, Mayer. If you feel like things are too rough, you can just head straight back. No, it's not quite the time yet. You're gonna keep chatting with Director Musis. Mm hmm. That's my silence. Pulling yourself together in the blink of an eye. I haven't. Not at all. I'd love to run away right now. Run and head straight back. But this is a very rare opportunity. Even if it hurts me, I have to see this through to the end. What you said might not be a solution to my current issues, but there is one part I believe to be very on point. I can only learn, accept all this new knowledge with the same effort I've had in the past. However, I also need to make some additional preparations. And that is it for this part. Thank you all for listening and watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.